Now, at this evening's government news conference, the Transport Secretary announced a new package of measures to ensure that the country's transport systems continue to operate. Here, one of the UK's leading pallet delivery networks is working with its rivals to ensure that essential items get delivered. Simon Hare reports. Thanks to its central location and good transport links, the East Midlands is continuing to play a key logistics role in the fight against coronavirus. That's the ability to move vital supplies throughout the country in the quickest and most efficient way possible. Leicestershire-based Palex is owned and run by almost a hundred different hauliers. It's not business as usual. It's a very challenging period for the sector, as it is for the country. Uh, we're trying to refocus and reprioritise our activities to support the NHS, to support uh, food supply and distribution. Vital personal protective equipment, ventilators and food for the NHS have all passed through the firm's headquarters at Ellistown near Colville recently. And it's even joined forces with other rival distribution networks to work collaboratively. We normally don't like to sit in the same room, so uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's extremely unusual. But these are crazy, challenging, dramatic times where you have to put personal benefit to one side and look for the good of the majority and the country as a whole. This would normally be the busiest time of the year here, but with volumes of goods down by a quarter, Palex has furloughed more than a third of its 400 UK staff, but those still working are doing so around the clock. We are a bit of a, a group of forgotten heroes that don't always get appreciated in normal times and maybe not even fully at the moment. But the Palex staff have also been working on their own tribute to NHS staff on the coronavirus front line. Simon Hare, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicestershire. Well, apart